Hi everyone, Claptony Traptano here, the internet's busiest music nerd, and it's time for a review of the new Zillikami album, Dog Boy. This is the brand new LP from New York rapper, singer, and songwriter Zillikami. His full-length debut, in fact, which has been seeing a lot of hype among fans. And I certainly get why fusions of hip-hop and rock are really popular right now in the underground. And Zilla, as one half of the trap metal duo City Morgue, has been one of the biggest and and most consistent names in that lane for a while now. But I still went into Dog Boy pretty skeptical. Like, for as celebrated as City Morgue is, their sound doesn't exactly expand upon these fusions of trap and metal and punk super creatively. Their two major studio albums so far have been pretty one-dimensional. So yeah, going into this project, I was wondering, what is Zilla gonna bring to a solo LP that he hasn't or couldn't have already brought in a City Morgue album? And after hearing this, the answer is not much, or maybe even less than I expected. Despite this project's best efforts to maybe pull from a few different points of inspiration. Because Dog Boy's biggest problem is honestly execution. Some of the basic ideas going into this LP may be fine, but a little to none of them are done well. The production's painfully basic, boring, and sometimes just straight bad. As it rehashes the same ideas again and again and again. Generic new metal riff, generic punk riff, or generic Nirvana rip-off riff, loop that over a kind of plain beat, and then throw on top of that a series of very samey and mid-paced flows with a vocal delivery that's kind of raspy, sort of screaming but not quite. Bam, and there you have the basic premise for like 90% of the songs here, which I guess would be fine if I felt like it were being done competently. On the song Chewing Gum, the opening to this record, we have some totally fried guitars. The riff feels like like a ripoff of the intro riff to the first corn record. The B is there, but like, where's the bass? What, like, what? Why, why is there like little to no bass on this song? Then meanwhile on the song I Hate You, uh, the bass is so abusively loud and like farting in my ear, it's swallowing everything else up in the mix. The guitars are so faint, they might as well not even be there. Additionally, the lyrics on this project are uh, no edgier or deeper than something you might find on like a Papa Roach record or a Limp Biscuit record, or more psycho than an ICP project from the late 90s or early 2000s, and then bog down the whole finish of the record with a series of slow burners, which are mostly failed attempts to squeeze like this tortured soul narrative into the general madness of the LP. And look, this project may be totally authentic in its feelings of rage and depression, but the depth to which any of those are explored or displayed is pretty shallow. Which makes me want to say something I have an issue with on this project, but uh, believe me, it's not limited to Dog Boy at all. And that's that we're seeing another generation of artists here since Nirvana and Kurt Cobain totally changed the trajectory of rock music, completely missing the point. It's like the focus is just not anywhere near trying to appreciate him in the abstract or understand what made him creatively a force that transcended uh, culture, genre. Instead, a lot of people would much rather copy what is like this media baked effigy of him. And yeah, it kind of sucks because while Kurt Cobain did have his problems, the man was more talent than he was torment. For sure, Dog Boy pulls from some kind of cool places, but it only pulls from the most surface level elements from those points of inspiration in the most obvious way. And on top of it, doesn't even repurpose them well or tastefully. Because for something that's so obviously inspired by the more underground and noisy and aggressive side of rock music, to the point where some of the riffs on this thing just border on plagiarism. Yeah, despite that, this project isn't very visceral or exciting at all. Very few of the beats on this thing hit all that hard, especially with Zilla Kami's vocal delivery kind of hitting that same raspy uh, point of intensity again and again and again, which is why I was sort of blown away by most of these tracks ending as abruptly as they do. I mean, I know underground rock music and punk music has a history of just kind of dishing out short songs, stuff like that. But much of the time, as these songs draw to a close, I'm just kind of left thinking, 
Uh, that's it. Look, overall, Dog Boy, I don't think this record brings much to the table in terms of production, vocals, songwriting, anything. I would rather listen to City Morgue. I would rather listen to the ocean of bands that uh, are very blatantly being ripped off on this project, too. A few of the beats were okay. The Denzel Curry and Uzi features were pretty decent, but outside of that, I really have nothing else positive to say about this record. Until something else undercuts it, this has to be the most uninspired and pointless trap metal project I've heard this year. Feeling a strong one to a light two on this transition. Have you given this album a listen? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? You're the best, you're the best. What should I review next? Hit the like if you like. Please subscribe and please don't cry. Hit the bell as well. Over here next to my head, it's another video you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, music forever.